Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Action Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. In today's demo, we are going to cover one important feature from the Fusion that if there is any business requirement to do the auto picking and shipping, how you can achieve it in Oracle Fusion. What it mean, the auto pick and ship, that means user can create the sales order. And after that, the pick, ship, the both process will be happening in an automated manner. And after that, user can generate the invoice in AR and you achieve this requirement. So let's begin. So we'll create the order and first we'll complete the process and after that we'll talk about the setup process. So let me create the order. So I clicked on the order, click on create order. And once you click on the create order, you have to search your customer. So I search my customer, Fusion Test. I selected my customer. Now I have to enter my item. So I entered ELE. So it will pick up and show my item ELE 01090. Now I can see that it is in stock and available for me to shipment. I will click on click on add. Once you add it, the item, after adding the item, what you have to do, you have to go to the shipment. Once you click on the shipment, you have to go to the shipping. Over here, you can add whatever parameter is needed, shipping instruction or the packing instruction if you want. Otherwise, leave it because it's not mandatory. Now you have to click on supply and you have to type your warehouse information. So I entered my warehouse information. Once I enter, the warehouse will get defaulted. After that, I have to click on the billing and payment detail and I have to enter the payment term. This payment term will be defaulted from the customer if you are attached to the customer profile. Now I enter manually because it's not prompting. If I will click on the shipment detail and I will click on the estimated order availability, system prompt me that the order quantity is available and I can ship and it is in on time. Now, once you created the order, you have to click on submit. Once you clicked on this submit, let's order to get processed and move into processing mode. So you can see that the confirmation we got the sales order 153788 was created. Now copy that order and click on OK. Once you're done, you can see that the line status is under not started. I'm clicking on refresh. In a few seconds, it will move to schedule and then reserve and move to awaiting shipping. So you can see that it's now schedule. So our session process starts. Now you can say that schedule. Now it will move to reserve. Let me refresh it. Now you can see that the status moved to reserve. Now you can see that the status moved from reserve to abating shipping. Now my sales order line is ready for the picking in 
shipping. Now, to have the automation is in place, you have to schedule two ESS job and you have to set couple of parameter and that you have to keep in your mind. So we'll discuss about the setup part. Before setup part, let's launch the ESS job. So you have to go to the navigator and you have to go to the tools and within the tools you have to click on the schedule processes once you click on the schedule processes so first ess job name is schedule pick wave so that you have to right so type it schedule pick wave so let me search it the ECS job. Let me remove the day. Yeah. So you can see that the ESS job name is schedule pick wave. So first ESS job is this one. So it, it will schedule the pick and it will ready the sales order line for the for the shipment. So create. So I have created the release route, create auto pick wave rule. Now, if you want to pick wave prefix, you can do that. Otherwise, leave it. Actually, ship date when you want to ship. You can do it. If you are scheduling, no need to enter it. Just you have to schedule. You can within the process option and the advanced. So if you click on the advanced, you can schedule. You can add the recipient. You can click on the schedule, right? When you want to schedule, you have to click on user schedule and then the parameter. Now I'm not scheduling this ESS job for complete how you can schedule, how you can get the notifications over your email. You refer my earlier video. Now click on submit. Once you click on submit, that process was submitted successfully. You have to click on refresh and wait for that process to complete. Once the process is completed, after that, the next ESS job that you have to run it, you can see that pick release document, trigger, and you have to refresh it. Now you can see that document. Now the second ESS job is confirm shipment. So shipment. So you have to type and search confirm shipment. Once you search the ESS job, you have to click on OK. Once you click on OK, what you have to do, you have to search your ship confirm rule so you have to type auto so whatever ship confirm rule will discuss this parameter how to set up for the auto picking shipping the ship confirm rule that will discuss ship confirm rule actual ship date you can set if you want today's date otherwise leave it now ship confirm batch prefix if you want for the identification for the error handling you just set it up so it will be easy so i'm adding fu001 and now if you scroll, you have the option ship from organization. So I'm setting up 1900. So that is my warehouse. And there are other options available if you want based on customer. So that is, you know, the optional. Only two parameters are mandatory. So that you have to make sure by scheduling, you have to keep enter. Now you have to click on submit. Once you click on submit, now you can see that process was submitted successfully and you have to wait to get the ESS shop to complete. And once the ESS shop complete, we'll move to the order management UI and we'll validate the status of the sales order line. So you can see that now it succeeded 
now quickly move to the order management ui now you can see that the line is in awaiting shipping and i refreshed now you can see that the line is status moved to shipped now there is an error so there is some setups missing otherwise it will move to awaiting billing so you can see that how you can achieve if you have this kind of requirement from the business for the auto pick ship you can achieve in the fusion now we'll talk about the the setups and parameter so let's move go to the setup and maintenance and go to the tasks within the task you have to go to the search once you click on search so first you have to move to manage inventory organization parameter so you have to click on manage inventory organization and you have to search your inventory organization so i clicked on search and you have to click on manage organization parameter so if you want to set up the auto pick ship you have to make sure within the parameter under item sourcing detail you have to uncheck the flag for the pick confirm confirmation required if you enable this then it won't work what meaning of this attribute is that pick confirmation required means user will perform manually the pick confirmation if you disable this flag that means system will perform the activity on the behalf of the user this will help you if you are having the non serial controls item that you want to ship out from your warehouse because if you are having the serial control item business want to have the validation the physical verification over it and the choose option while selecting then you won't suggest this option now i clicked on the save and close so now next setup what is next setup so we have to set up the manage ship confirm percent so manage ship confirm rules that is another task and you have to you have to click on search type your ship confirm rule and you can see that the auto ship the description the start date now if i click on the pencil icon you can see that these parameters are mandatory for the auto shipping so you have to set it up ship quantity ship with the ship quantity and then option if ship quantity are not manually entered so you have to set the parameter as the ship requested quantity then enable these two flags and you have to click on save and close so that is first setup that you have to do the another setup is manage pick wave so if i click on the manage pick wave you can see that the task name is manage pick wave release rule you have to click on that and same you have to search your rule so you have to click on search you have to type your pick wave release rule name and you have to click on search if you see that i have created create auto pick wave rules if i click on the pencil icon i will show you what i at the setup so within the demand selection you have to select your warehouse ship from organization the release status is unreleased now under the options you have to set the pick from server entry as well as the stage server entry 
and then you have to enable the flag auto confirm picks and you have to enter your ship confirm rule which just now we have discussed now you have to enable the create shipment flag and after completing this setup you have to click on save and close once you're done you schedule it you create your sales order once you create your sales order and your ESH job is running, then it will perform on the basis of business user. It will automatically perform the pick ship and line status move to abating billing and AR team can generate the invoices. So this is how you can achieve if you have this kind of business requirement in Oracle Fusion. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel, Fusion Action Learning. Keep subscribing, keep watching, have a good day.